Over a dozen debt-laden farmers have committed suicide in recent weeks in India. Unseasonal storms have badly damaged the winter crop in large parts of the fertile northern plains, most likely contributing to the suicides. And villagers have blamed Prime Minister Narendra Modi for not stepping in to help the distressed farmers or ensuring that crop prices remain stable. The Modi government has even delayed a comprehensive health plan as it shifts focus from subsidies to investment. With global food prices low, an anti-inflation policy that has hit rural incomes and the shift from subsidy to investment spending, debt-laden farmers were already suffering when the rain devastated standing winter crops across North India. Over 10 million hectares of crops were damaged, but the government says there is no clear link to the suicides. Only the state governments can figure out cases of farmer suicides. We'll work closely with the affected states if they ask for any specific help," said a senior Union Farm Ministry official who did not wish to be identified. The opposition parties have coupled the discontent with the street protests against a land acquisition bill that will make it easier for businesses to buy farmland. Modi tried to address the issue in a radio address last week, arguing that the land bill would help create rural jobs. But farmers were not impressed. Instead of ensuring some concrete help to the farmers, especially after the rains this month, Modi and his government are spending time and energy on the land bill, said Buddha Singh, a district chief of the Bharatiya Kisan Union, a leading farmer's body. The farmer's suicides in the most politically sensitive region are the latest in several setbacks for Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party, which is hoping to consolidate power by winning local elections in large, predominantly rural states over the next two years.